Hello, I'm Steve G. Jones, clinical hypnotherapist. When listening to this recording, be sure to only listen to it at night when you are safe and no one and nothing will disturb you. At the end of this recording, you will be given suggestions to fall into a restful sleep. If you are under a doctor's care, you should always consult your physician before using this recording. Never play this recording in a moving vehicle. Thank you and enjoy. All right now. Get yourself into a comfortable position. Feel at ease and feel all tension disappear. To help you further relax, you are going to take three deep breaths. All right now. Inhale deeply, breathing in good. Feel your chest rising and hold it and now release very good feel your body relaxing and loosening second deep breath breathing in expanding your lungs and hold it and exhale slowly letting it all out through your mouth excellent and again, breathing in deeply. Feel your chest rise. Feel your lungs expanding. Hold it. Relax your jaw, open your mouth and release all of the air slowly. Very good. And then continue breathing easily effortlessly and comfortably taking a moment to listen to your breathing it is steady and relaxing I'd like you now to use your imagination that's right really tune in to that creative part of yourself Imagine yourself in a space shuttle and you are on a mission to the moon. Another crew member navigates as you fly through space. That's right. flying through space, relaxing. You are so very comfortable. Just imagining that you're flying in a space shuttle through space, noticing how peaceful it is here. And as you approach the moon, you prepare to go down to the moon's surface and you will take a pod down to the moon. So you prepare yourself now in the space shuttle by entering the pod And now the pod leaves the space shuttle safely and drifts and floats gently down to the lunar surface. You are wearing full astronaut gear. Your helmet looks like a large black globe. Your uniform is mainly white and it will protect you from the elements on the moon. 
as your pod lands safely. You open the pod and step out onto the moon's surface. You have been experiencing zero gravity for the last few days. So stepping onto the moon, which has less gravity than the earth, feels a little different at first. But you very easily become accustomed to it and realize it is quite relaxing. You are able to take long strides and jump fairly high. You bounce along the surface for a little while, going up and down, just having fun and relaxing. You do everything in slow motion here. That's right. You take notice of your breathing as you are walking around on the moon. Notice your breath in your suit. Now it sounds quite different than it normally does. And this relaxes you. Your breathing is consistent and the sound of it soothes you. You enjoy exploring the moon. There are all sorts of craters on the moon. There are small craters and very large craters. You feel lucky that the earth has an atmosphere which protects it. The color of the ground is a dark gray. It appears to be a mixture of dark rock and sand. You bend down and touch the ground with your gloved hand. It seems similar to gravel, sort of like a sandy road. You have the perfect view of the earth from where you are. You can see Europe and North Africa. You are amazed at the color of Africa. It appears to be an orange-red color because of the desert. Europe seems to be very green. And swirled all around the earth are clouds. You can see what appears to be a large cloud system perhaps a large storm in the Atlantic Ocean. The ocean is very blue. It's a deep navy blue. The Mediterranean Sea is a little lighter in color. You are fascinated by the view. It is very calming being the only person on the moon. The earth holds so many people, yet from this vantage point, the earth looks very small. And you think about the universe and how vast it is. This fascinates and relaxes you at the same time. And 
you continue to walk around on the moon. It feels like you are jumping on a trampoline in slow motion. As you walk, you work on relaxing your entire body. Your head feels supported by the spacesuit. You let your face and jaw relax as you stare out into the solar system. Your neck and shoulders are relaxed and feel at ease. You straighten your back and you feel all tension release from your lower back and your upper back and the middle part of your back. Your entire back relaxes. Your arms are stretched out by your sides and you feel light as you walk. And you take a couple of deep breaths and allow your chest and stomach area to relax. You continue to walk and you notice how weightless your legs feel. They are completely relaxed in your space suit. You enjoy exploring the moon and looking at the earth. From a long, long distance away, your feet feel light and you continue to relax. And as you continue to relax, you decide to wander off a little, you are safe and protected. But there is a small hill which interests you. So you very slowly bounce over to that hill. And when you reach the hill, you stand on top of the hill, looking around. And you are very, very relaxed. As you stand on top of the hill, you can see for miles from here. Mostly you see a flat surface, but you do see some hills and some mountains in the distance. You also see many craters. And as you look to the sky, it is dark and you can barely see a few stars in the sky. That's right. And looking again at the earth, you realize just how relaxed you are right now and how peaceful earth seems. Everything looks calm and relaxed. And that is how you feel calm and relaxed. You are at peace. You breathe in deeply and you can smell that unmistakable clean air smell as the oxygen comes into your suit now and you realize that everything is taken care of. 
you always have enough oxygen. So you can just wander around and explore and relax. This is your time to relax and explore and allow yourself to be peaceful and calm. And as you relax on that hill, on the moon, you realize just how peaceful you are in every situation. You are completely at ease. And I'd like you now to pick up a small rock from the top of the hill and hold it in your hand. And in just a few moments, you're going to toss that rock off the hill. And you are going to imagine the rock falling very slowly down to the moon's surface. And as I count from 10 to one, the rock will slowly sail through the air and then descend to the moon's surface. So that by the time I reach the number one, the rock will have reached the surface of the moon and you will be completely relaxed because the lower I count, the more that rock travels. And the more that rock travels toward its destination, the more you relax deeper, deeper and more deeply relaxed. Starting with the number 10 and you throw the rock and very slowly arches upward and you relax just watching it travel. It is so peaceful watching that rock travel and you are so calm inside. Nine the rock travels a little further from you, moving away from you, allowing you to relax even more deeply now. Eight, the rock continues on its journey, traveling away from you. Seven, the rock now begins to travel downward, traveling down toward the surface of the moon. And this relaxes you, the thought of that rock drifting down slowly relaxes you thoroughly. The thought of that rock going down, down, down makes you relax, allows you to be peaceful. 
six. The rock travels down a little further on its journey to the moon's surface and you relax a little more deeply. With each and every passing moment, you are able to relax your body, your mind, and your spirit more and more. You are able to really get in touch with that part of yourself which is always centered and focused. So relax now even more deeply, realizing just how calm you are inside, calm inside. Five. The rock travels even lower now on its way to the moon's surface and you relax even more deeply now drifting and floating in your mind down 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 deeper deeper and more deeply relaxed you are a very calm person, a very centered and focused person. And right now, you choose to relax as deeply as possible. Four, down, down, deeper and deeper as the rock continues on its journey to the lunar surface. And you are so relaxed now. It seems like time has slowed down for you. You are calm inside. Calm and relaxed. Just like the surface of the moon. Calm. Peaceful quiet, relaxed. Three, down, down, down. As the rock travels slowly down to the surface of the moon. Two, and at the count of the next number, the rock will have landed gently on the moon's surface and you will be completely relaxed. All right now, one. The rock has landed on the moon's surface and you are completely relaxed and at ease. Your body, mind and spirit are completely relaxed now. And as you continue relaxing deeper, deeper and more deeply relaxed, I would like you now to imagine yourself in a situation, any situation you choose. A situation in which you are trying to get something. Perhaps it can be a situation in which you are trying to sell something to someone. Or 
a situation in which you are trying to have a date with someone. Perhaps you are trying to get their phone number. But make this a situation that you anticipate being in, in the near future. A situation in which you are trying to get something from someone. A situation in which you are trying to gain their acceptance somehow. Imagine yourself there now. As I am silent, put yourself in that situation in which you are trying to get something from someone and somehow gain their acceptance. And now, I would like you to imagine your favorite movie star, whoever it may be, your favorite movie star, that's right. Just pick one. And if you want to, you can change this person each time you listen to this recording. Or you can keep the same one. The choice is yours. Now make sure this movie star is someone who is very strong-minded. Someone very powerful in your eyes. I realize they are a fictitious character when they are on screen. Take a moment as I am silent to imagine them in that situation with you. Good. Now, Imagine them being 10 feet tall. Imagine the movie star of your choice being with you and standing 10 feet tall and standing right behind you, watching over you, protecting you, with their arms folded. Imagine this now as I am silent. Good. Now, imagine the person you are talking to, the person you are trying to get something from. Notice them and notice that they are intimidated by the movie star standing behind you. And you inwardly 
awkwardly smile and laugh to yourself, realizing that you have complete control over this situation. You are okay with yourself. So imagine yourself now talking with that person in that situation. Trying to gain their acceptance and get something from them. And you either get what you want or not. But you are confident the whole time. Because you realize that person you are talking to feels the power standing behind you. The person you are talking to who is in front of you feels the power of the movie star who is standing behind you ten feet tall. And they are intimidated by the movie star. And whatever the outcome, whether you get what you want or not, you are happy with the result. In fact, you realize that if you are rejected, that is fine. Because you realize you must be rejected a few times before you arrive at yes. So every time you hear no, you are happy. Because you realize that you are one step closer to getting that yes that you want. And deserve. You realize that rejection is part of winning. Rejection is part of being accepted. And you accept this. Because you accept yourself. You are fine at all times. whether you are accepted or rejected by others makes no difference in the way you feel about yourself because you accept yourself at all times 
Now imagine yourself back in that situation in which you are talking to that person, trying to get something, and you turn around and look up at your favorite movie star and you smile. And they smile back at you. And they nod. Because they know that you are safe and secure. You are protected at all times. You are always protected. Your ego, your self-esteem, your self-worth is always protected because you protect it by imagining this powerful force standing behind you, protecting you, watching over you. This force is in the form of your favorite movie star, standing 10 feet tall. Imagine them putting their hand on your shoulder now. Your favorite movie star putting their hand on your shoulder, comforting you, reassuring you, giving you the confidence you need to relax and accept rejection. When you are accepted, you realize that this is part of life also. You accept this because you expect to win. You expect to win eventually. So whether accepted or rejected, you are fine. You are comfortable with yourself. You are relaxed at all times. You are a winner. And winners have a certain percentage of acceptance. And a rather high percentage of rejection. And you are proud of this. You realize that you are a true winner. You are out there. You are trying. You are getting rejected. And you are getting accepted. Because rejection is part of acceptance. You accept this as reality and you are comfortable with this because you are comfortable with yourself and you understand the true nature of success which is that you must be rejected a certain number of times before you are accepted. So you continue moving forward. Continue going after what you want. All obstacles move out of your way. Because you are focused like a laser. 
That's right. When you are rejected, you simply build your self-esteem and your motivation because you are indeed a winner. And as you continue relaxing deeper, deeper and more deeply relaxed, you realize that formerly you had a fear of rejection. But now as you continue to relax, you realize that it is okay. to let go of all of that because you are okay with yourself. And I'd like you now to imagine yourself six months in the future. See yourself in a situation where you are talking with someone. Trying to get something from them. Trying to win their favor. See how relaxed you are. You imagine your favorite movie star standing behind you, 10 feet tall, watching over you. You're so relaxed as you talk with that person and you either get what you want or you don't. But either way, you are okay. You are okay with yourself. Whether you are accepted or rejected. See yourself talking on the phone now to someone. trying to get something. Imagine your favorite movie star standing behind you, reminding you that everything is okay. And you either get what you want or you don't. But you are okay either way. Feel how relaxed you are six months from now. Relaxed, whether accepted or rejected. Your breathing is slow and steady. Your pulse is slow and steady. You are calm inside. And good feelings fill your mind and body. And now imagine yourself one year in the future, talking with someone, whether on the phone or in person, trying to get something your favorite movie star is no longer necessary. You 
are on your own. And you are okay with that. You are solid. All by yourself. And whether you get what you want or not, you are okay. and happy, and peaceful, and relaxed, and very calm, you realize now that whether you are accepted or rejected makes no difference at all in how you feel about yourself deep down inside because at your core you are solid always. You realize that over time it will be clearly demonstrated that you are a winner. So you look at life as more of a marathon than a sprint. And you run with endurance. And you feel good. The entire time. So realize now that everything is going to be just fine. As you come back into the present, realize that you are just fine. And as you continue to relax, Every breath you take is soothing, soothing you. Focus now on your breathing. I wonder how much attention you have paid to the many different thoughts floating through your mind. Your mind is so active, even while it relaxes. And then you can become aware of how difficult it is to remember what I was talking about exactly seven minutes ago. And you can try to remember what I was saying nine minutes ago or what you were thinking four minutes ago. But doesn't it seem like too much work to try to remember all of that. It takes more effort than it's worth. So relax. Relax comfortably and understand that you don't have to remember what I was saying when it's too much work to do. You can choose to remember to forget what I said or to forget to remember what I said. The choice is yours.
if you should be listening to this recording at night, you will fall into a deep and very peaceful sleep. And while you are asleep and dreaming, understand that your subconscious mind will be processing every word I have said. And each time you hear these words, these suggestions become more and more powerful for you. Each and every time you listen to these words, these suggestions become more and more a part of your being. Each and every time you listen to this recording, you become more and more the person of your choosing, a relaxed, comfortable, confident person And that feels wonderful and when you awaken in the morning, you will be well rested, refreshed, revitalized and ready for a new day. And that feels wonderful.